Big changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. something good tonight. Once known as the Lord Regent, is no longer in power. <laughs> That's it. The Lord Regent's done. Farewell to Hiram Burroughs, you scheming piece of shit. Now we can bend the law to pardon our past crimes, Corvo. We'll find out. The assassin the Lord Regent sent to butcher the Empress. Then you can have your revenge. We'll have to move fast to clean up his mess. The armed forces will do their job. Martin has control of the overseers. And you, Trevor, do whatever it is you do with Parker. That's Lord Trevor Pendleton to you. Without me, you'll never command the nobility. They'll tear you apart like a fish. Sorry, Corvo. We're nervous. Your work is done, and ours begins. The coronation will be an impromptu affair. It still requires much preparation. Most of it we can handle. There is the matter of security. Emily will be vulnerable to whoever kills her mother. I doubt history will repeat itself, but you must be sharp and wary tomorrow. He's right. Rest. Restore yourself. Raid Piero's wares. Restock your ammo and make yourself ready. Just in case. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Caldwell, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. Have you given Emily much spiritual education? The seven strictures? The litany and the white cliff? I... When I'm Empress, no. I'm going to make everyone else a face instead. Overseer. Just like you uh, do, Corvo. Hi, Overseer. Perhaps you ought to send her to me. And soon. She is a spoiled child. Even if she's to be an Empress. The other day I saw Emily staring at you. Do you think she understands what you've done? The Pendletons? Lady Boyle? I think on some level she knows what's been done in her name. You are an impressive man, Corvo. I hope they give you the credit you deserve. Hello, Corvo. The Pendletons owe you a debt. Emily will revoke the warrant on you tomorrow. Until then, legally there's still a fairly lavish reward, so I'd keep your head down and your mask on, if I were you. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job, then. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent, and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir.
Why I keep sticking my neck out for you eludes me. But I only gave you half the poison, Corvo. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. I can hardly blame them for turning on you. After all the people slaughtered in the name of this cause. Those are crimes of state. And maybe they figure it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. I'll drop you in a boat, then I've got to ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. If not, well, goodbye. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poisoned. Tyrion stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to Dowd. to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. You're a mystery, and I can't allow that. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man.
Why would you come back here? Hard to say. Yeah, I should watch the street. You'll see it from the rooftop. Alright. There's nothing else. You can have enough of the matter. You can't get through the rail station. This one is the street. You can do well. Once here, breathing in the rich stink of their enchanted flesh. the key to the tunnel and is asked not to be disturbed is that it correct this prisoner we took the bodyguard who was with the empress seems to trouble him gravely yes i feel that we've reached a turning point tonight yes good luck on your assignment when you're permitted to leave Unseen. Stay in shadow and avoid the light. Cross to the other side of the room without attracting notice.
Master. What is it? Forgive me, but Corvo has escaped us. A sentry glimpsed him in the streets near the Greaves refinery. Very well. I suspect that in time he will come to me here. Now please leave me. And be vigilant. against my assassin. And now we fight the duel that no two others could fight against the ticking clock. I've waited for this. Let's see if the outsider will save your life or mine. Why are you fighting? The men who poisoned you and left you to die. Or your dead empress. Go on. Strike as if you mean it. You know I killed her. Fool. We're of the same breed, you and I. We kill for others. You think I'm your enemy? I've never lied to you. You've got to strike faster if you... I have one more surprise for you. I asked for my life when I killed your empress and took her daughter. Something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand, the mark of the outsider himself. And I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing, so my life is in your hands. Make your choice. Can you choose mercy? Extraordinary.
There's no hospital. I told you that. You think they round people up because there's a cure? They're city guards. <coughs> They're <coughs> supposed to, to protect people. Ah! They did. They protect the healthy people from people like us, the sick ones. I'm not uh, that bad. Some people pull through, right? <coughs> Don't they? One in a thousand. Ten thousand, probably. Any chance, I'll take. What when I get out of there? I can't stand this waiting anymore. The plague wagon's running every couple of minutes now. Got the barrier on. About time. Would have been done sooner if my buggers didn't back out. How many times have I asked that only cadavers take the long drop? Nothing ever changes. You should know that. Some guy in the last shift was telling me the Lord Regent himself was stuck like a pig on some assassin's blade. What is going on up there? Beautiful. The way you express yourself. Now shut up about it. I'm told there might still be plague carriers running around down here.
You're the mask guy's been taking down all the lords and ladies. No way through this gate unless you've got the sewer key. Only one place to get that key, and I wouldn't go there. Not for all the gold in Dunwall Tower. Not again. Maybe you could pull it off, though. Something attacked us in the distillery. It used the rats. I know it sounds crazy. And then it run back under the streets. So we come down here to kill it, Slackjaw leading the way. Went bad. I barely crawled out. Don't know what happened to Slackjaw. He had the sewer key, though. It was a fog. And then rats. Rats everywhere. Slackjaw chased him deeper into the sewers. the nasty fat and sinew, and carve a pretty song on your bones. Hey! Someone kill this crazy witch! I could make you rich! There's my love. Are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Aren't you a gentleman helping Granny Rags with her stew? We'll eat well tonight, sweetheart. First thing, you'll have to put him to the knife. Don't want him crawling out of the pot now. What you doing? Listen, Amikovo. Don't help her. Don't let her kill me. What are you doing? Don't help her. She's out of her mind. I can reward you. What do you want? Money? Weapons? Oh, no, you don't. I'll kill you and cook you and eat your heart from the Bones of the great Leviathan, protect me! All my little friends, come to me now! You think you're going to save him? He's not worth it. Now Granny is going to kill you just like all the others. <laughs> What's wrong? Can't you find me? What will 
I write on your skull? That you were a fool! It works best if I boil you alive. Any chance you'll hunt? Unlock me. Wanna know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny? I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo. your way into such interesting places, Corvo. At the eye of the storm, raging between granny rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other, crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd, the man who killed the Empress. You had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away? You fascinate me. Please, no! Oh, it's you, Corvo. I think the stars. We all thought you'd been killed, except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore, but I'll bet he's still out there, looking for you is my guess. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head, just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead, too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. I was only a kid at the last coronation, if we even make it to tonight. Will you look at this mess? Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. Through the mask in the river, 
Left out. That's what a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand. Oh, nice. I hear they had to hide the Caldwell sofa the whole time they were working with him. I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. Criminal mind, huh? So what's he doing now? Waiting. He's probably watching us right now. That crazy mask on. Closer. Closer. Everything. Cut it out. What's so impressive about Corvo anyway? Who's he got up against? A couple of high overseers, a couple of noblemen? He could never stand up to men with our training. Well, now I do hope he shows up. I want to see you run crying to cover tall boys out back. Like you were. Yeah. What was I supposed to do? Stand there and hit my rocks? <laughs> Attention Dunwall citizens. With sad hearts, the City Watch must announce the death of the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs. May his spirit fade from this world and suffer no more. Nice. Update. A man is still trying to penetrate the workshop. Close it. Big Piero Joplin's inside. Crack pot. Should we philosophy. gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? There is evidence tonight. that Anton Sokolov was held so. here against him. For some time. We can't determine what happened to him. I'll... Careful. The place may be booby-trapped, and I want him alive. What else? Yes, sir. to converse with someone online. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the Academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold it. Bravo! Good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so th We will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Arc Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and reach our enemies one by one. Whichever you conspiracy tried to use old Piero for their own gain and then discard him.
counter. This better not be a joke. I can't believe you're alive. They killed everyone, Corvo. They killed everyone to cover it all up. Then they took Emily with them and they left. I couldn't do anything to protect her. Please find her. Make her safe. All his talk of being an honorable military... ...man. But Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. Something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died. It had been building up. Martin was acting strange, going quiet if any of us were near, whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had, and worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. They would have killed me too, but Havelock spared me. Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. Please. Talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much, and she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the Watch won't see him. The City Watch is everywhere out there. But I don't even care if they find me anymore. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you to Emily. Pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With 
This device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? When this arc pylon is charged, no one will dare come near us. Out. We got someone skulking around. Amazing. Simply amazing. It functioned beyond my greatest expectations. Defies description. Sure, Dunwall's security for a century. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned, I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. And we once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he remembers that. I'll make what you need as long as I have the necessary materials. Goodbye, Corvo. I wish to apologize for what was done to you. It seems that holding all the pieces and standing a step from the throne changed something in the others. Something I don't understand. Don't underestimate Havelock, Corvo. He'll be waiting. Now that you've eliminated the City Watch, I can find my way out of here. But there's no way I can help Emily the way you can. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you where you need to go. One last trip, I expect. Take care of Emily. I tried as best I could. Thought I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We'll need to get out of here soon. The Admiral controls the military now, Martin's high overseer, and Pendleton's in favor with the aristocracy and Parliament. They need Emily, of course. But if Havelock senses that it's all about to fall down around him, who knows what he's liable to do? The... There's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. 
That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see.